Hey guys, Jason with Starkey Products here for another episode of Saturday Morning Installs. Today I'll be installing our Raptor style grill lights for all 2021 and up F-150s. Saturday Morning Installs was born from an idea to demonstrate just how easy these products are to install. No fancy lift or special tools required. These can be done in your driveway on a Saturday morning. I've got our pre-assembled Raptor style light bar right here, and this is specifically designed for the STX grill. However, we've got different options for different OEM grills. The installation is gonna be the same though, regardless of the grill type you have. We do need to remove this factory grill, and that sounds a little intimidating, but I'm gonna show you it's actually pretty straightforward, and we're gonna jump right into it. Let's get started. Included with the kit is our Raptor style grill light bar, hardware to secure the light bar, zip ties, we also have a wiretap, which is included standard, but we have some plug and play adapters for both halogen headlights and LED headlights I'll talk about later. We also are going to need a ratchet and socket set or a drill to remove some hardware, and then either a flathead screwdriver or this pry tool to remove push pins. First thing we're gonna do is remove the 14 push pins holding this radiator cover in place. To do so, you pry up on the center part of the pin and then you pry up on the body of the pen and it comes out like so. We'll just lift this cover off and set it aside for reinstallation later. Next, we'll remove these five push pins that run along the top side of the grill, right in the front. Next, we'll disconnect this wiring right in front of the hood latch. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to depress the clip on this first connector, because it's a little hard to reach. And just gently depress and pull out. And in this one, you just squeeze and pull. And then lastly, you can use a flathead screwdriver or a pry tool, and you're gonna pop up this pin holding the wiring bundle in place. And you're gonna find a little tension involved, but that comes right off, and you're just gonna pull that back. Now I'm gonna remove the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the shutter assembly and grill in place. So now it's time to remove this trim panel that sits below the grill and the headlights. It's held on by some clips in between and then two screws on either side. I'm gonna jump in the cab and just turn the wheel a little bit. It's gonna make it easier for me to get to those two screws. You could do it with a ratchet and a socket, but I'm gonna use the drill. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Now, if you have factory or aftermarket fender flares, you may need to loosen those first. And sometimes they have some alignment pins and sometimes they obscure these screws. So you're just gonna wanna loosen that trim panel first, but generally you do not need to remove it just to get this off. Now, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen these. There's a few clips and you're gonna hear them pop or disengage as you go around. I'm gonna repeat the process on the other side. Now I'm gonna just grab this piece and start loosening these clips. Loosen them on that one side. I'm gonna come over and do the same thing over here. Now get over to the middle and just sort of carefully lift this right off. Now I'm gonna remove the two eight millimeter bolts here and here. So I've disconnected all the hardware and the electrical connections, and then I've taken those two bolts off. So now I'm just gonna grab this grill and I'm gonna lift up 
and out. And you're gonna see the whole assembly, shutter assembly occluded, is gonna start to lift off. And there's this rubber here, which is actually kind of hinders you, but it protects the bumper from being scratched, which is a good thing. So now, got that side, and I'm just gonna lift off. And I've got a place over here, a table to lay this on to illustrate some things and also just to protect the grill. Don't wanna lay it down on anything that could scratch it. I'm gonna flip the grill on its top side so the bottom is facing up. And I'm gonna use my pry tool to remove these push pins. This holds a rubber piece on and you'll see it comes off pretty easily. But I'm just gonna work my way from one side to the other. Now I can lift this off and set it off to the side. Now I'm gonna lay this emblem facing down. There's a seven millimeter screw right in the center and I'm gonna use this deep well socket to remove it. There are four 10 millimeter nuts here and here and I'm gonna remove those now. Now I'm gonna flip it on its side again so that the bottom is facing up. Now there are three clips that hold the grill to the shutter assembly. Your truck may have as many as five. This truck only came with three. What you're gonna do is depress the clip. You can usually do it with your thumb. That's gonna release those. I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna be real careful at the same time because I don't want these two to <laughs> come apart too quickly. And then that's the last. That's gonna allow us to remove the shutter assembly from the grill. I sat the shutter assembly off to the side. I'm gonna lay this grill back down. I'm gonna grab the light bar assembly, which is gonna sit right here, and the one that you have for your particular grill is gonna line up. I'm gonna grab the two stainless steel screws that were included with the kit and go ahead and attach them. They're gonna run through this factory hole in the grill and then Grab those U-nuts. You don't have to tighten the over tighten them, they just need to be snug. And then I'll do the second. What's nice about this system is that your lights are never gonna move. They're never gonna come off from the double-sided adhesive that's used. There are some products out there like that, but this is designed for your factory grill. So in this case, we're working on an STX. This wiring needs to route towards the driver's side and then once I grab the shutter assembly and put that back on, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to get it reattached. Just gonna line this back up. You can lock those clips back into place. Okay, and I'm gonna start putting all the hardware back on. So you're reinstalling the four 10 millimeter nuts. Last but not least, we'll put this cover back on and you're gonna just push the pins back into each and every hole. Okay, we're all set. This grill has been reassembled and it's ready to go back on the truck. The grill is actually easier to put back on than it is to take off. I'm gonna take note of this wiring and just wanna route it up behind the headlight and kinda of off to the side and then I'm gonna start working this back in. You're gonna hear those clips re-engage on either side. And now that is back in place. Now it's time to reverse the removal procedure. Next, I'm gonna carefully put this trim piece back on. I'm gonna take my time lining it up so I don't 
bump anything. Usually it's best to start in the center and kind of work it back on. You'll start to feel it draw in and clip into place. Got that clipped in. Now I'm gonna come over to this side and just carefully work it back on. You're gonna to wanna to hear all those clips clip into place and you're gonna to wanna to see that the fender is aligned with the panel. Awesome. I'm gonna reinstall this push pen and reconnect these connectors. Now I'm gonna reinstall the four 10 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna remove the factory air box. That'll give us better access to the back of the headlight where we connect the wiring. And it'll also allow us to show you what we're doing. It's held on with a 13 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna take that off here. Now I'm gonna grab a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna loosen this hose clamp here. And once you've loosened it a few notches, you can just pull the hose right off like that. And then this whole air box comes out. Oop, it got back on there. There we go. I'll just lift it off. I'm gonna route the wiring from the light bar behind the headlight just so it's hidden from view once everything's re reinstalled. Now I'm gonna connect this ground ring terminal. You could connect it to a lot of different ground points, but I see this eight millimeter bolt right here. I'm gonna take that off. It's already a factory ground, so it's perfect. At this point, you'll wanna decide how you'd like to connect the light bar to the parking light circuit. We include a wire tap that allows you to tap into the proper wire behind the headlight, but we also have plug and play parking light adapters available for purchase. We have a version for LED headlights as well as the halogen headlights like this truck. I'm gonna show you both ways. I'll show you the wire tap first and then I'll show you the parking light adapter and you can decide which is best for you. I'm gonna grab the two pin parking light connector from the back of this halogen headlight and then show you a close up so you know what to look for. This is the two pin halogen headlight connector and you're gonna notice it has a little clip on the back. You'll grab this and squeeze the clip and then pull out to disconnect it from the headlight. If you have LED headlights, your connector is gonna look just like this one here. It's also got a clip on the top. You'll just push down to, to release and then pull straight out. If you're tapping into the wire with the included wire tap, you're going to locate the proper wire specified in the instruction manual. Then you'll slide the wire tap onto the wire. The wire should sit in between those two teeth. Then we're going to close the wire tap. You're gonna hear it click shut. Then you'll take the red wire from the light bar and plug it into the back of the wire tap like so. Now you can reconnect this connector to the headlight and you're done with the connection. If you've decided to use our plug and play adapter, you're just gonna take the adapter, you're gonna plug it into the mating end You'll hear it click into place. And then you'll take the red wire from the light bar and you'll plug it into the red wire on the parking light adapter. And by the way, we sell these separately. So even if you decide not to purchase our light bar, you could still buy this plug and play parking light adapter. It's especially useful for the LED headlights because you can see how complex the LED headlights are wired. They have quite a few wires and you definitely don't want to tap into the wrong wire. The next thing you'll do is just take this mating end reach back in at this point I'm going to use the zip ties that were included with the kit to button up all the wiring and then I'll reinstall the air box and the radiator cover you can save the two push pins up front here because we've got two screws where the light bar was attached so you're no longer going to need those push pins 
I finished installation of the Raptor style grill lights on this 2021 F-150. The installation will take you less than two hours, so it's a great Saturday morning install. Hey, if you hung in this long, we really appreciate you watching. Please leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the section below. Thank you very much.